Hello Gemini and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, the reading will be for everyone. Take what resonates for you. So we have Cherishing Self. I accept and love myself. I need to focus on yourself this week. Taking care of you, prioritizing you, putting yourself first. Let's see what we have with that, Gemini. I'm going to pull you an Angel and Ancestors message. This is the Angel and Ancestors Oracle deck. Let's see what we have for Gemini. Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides for the week. Message for our lovely Geminis. Thank you. Oh, I've pulled two actually, so let's see what we have. We have Sage, be devoted and committed. Now, Sage can also be about seeking counsel from a Sage, a wiser person or a wise person. With that, we have Direction Guardian, choose your path. Let's read that out. Connect with your deepest desires, then choose the path that will make your heart and soul sing. Your path isn't set in stone, and your angels and guides have no expectations for you, nor should you have any for yourself. There are many directions you can take. None of them are wrong, as they all hold perfect opportunities to grow and learn. But life is to be enjoyed and savoured, so if you find that there's a direction and a decision that needs to be made and particularly if you're feeling indecisive choose the path you know is going to make you light up and choose with your heart okay Let's see what we have for Gemini, please. Angel Spirits Guides, message for Gemini for the week. Message for Gemini for the week, thank you. This is the Radiant Wise Spirit Deck, for those of you who are interested. What do we have for Gemini, thank you. Six of Pentacles. Oh, the Page of Pentacles. This is either something that you're being offered with you don't see as you see as a non starter, potentially. Or it might well be some kind of um, missing out on some kind of opportunity, but something better is coming in. So let's see what we get for you. Knight of Swords, communication, conversation, news, with the Four of Pentacles. Oh, lovely, lovely Ten of Pentacles. The Four of Swords. Temperance. Oh, I was hoping this would come up. I saw the Knight of Pentacles, but this is just as good. The Ace of Pentacles with the Death card, yeah. Yeah, I feel, um, Gemini, the, the Page of Pentacles, either, like I said, either something's offered to you, but you don't see it as a non, you see it as a non-starter. It's not, you don't see it as an abundant way forward, or for some of you, there could well be some kind of um, 
missed opportunity that you've experienced, you know, something that didn't work out for you or didn't go in your favor in some way. But the Six of Pentacles is because there's something better. Let's see. I'm going to clarify death, which is linked with endings, out with the old and with the new. What do we have for Gemini? Clarify the death card. The sun. Oh my goodness, I've got the ace of pentacles again. Yeah, I think something ended for you, but it feels this is the energy here if it's it this ending needed to happen in order to make space for the new. That's what you're being told. You're, I'm getting the sense here, you know, Gemini, whatever happened was meant to be because you were meant to be in a new direction. You, it just feels like a path that you're meant to be on. And that's why I'm getting the energy because really... I feel something either didn't work out for you. Um, or maybe a path ended for you. But the Six of Pentacles is because something better is coming in. Six of Pentacles is the energy. Sometimes it's your time to receive. Well, it's always your time to receive. Spirit working through the situation, even the people involved in this, to bring you what you need. It can be very good in terms of a monetary offer, very good in terms of business, career, finances, someone reaching out, offering you something, which brings that sense of balance and harmony back in your life in some way. And I feel that you've, um, I feel that you're going to have some kind of conversation. Again, the Four of Swords is, there may well be some kind of pause where you're waiting to see what happens next. This is the energy here. But there's going to be some kind of conversation that you're going to have. Again, some of you may be at different life stages. You may well have already had some kind of conversation and you're waiting to see what's going to happen next. Temperance can be quite a patient energy. It's also a very good balancing energy or getting balanced back in a scenario here. This feels like financially. The Four of Pentacles, being careful with your money. Sometimes we have to be careful, mindful, watch every penny. But how you've approached the situation, you've still maintained that sense of financial stability and security with what you have, with the resources available to you. You've been extremely resourceful and that's what Spirit is saying to you. I feel that there's a, a strong energy here of, of being applauded uh, because it's, it's how we maintain that stability and it looks like in times of change for you. Uh, but there is definitely an energy of slowly but surely getting that balance back. But sometimes we have to be patient. I mean, there's some patient energies going on here. But how you've approached this situation and dealt with this has been applauded. You've been very resourceful. This is being very savvy and careful with money, mindful, conservative. Because that's what circumstances demand. We have two aces, two of the same aces. So a, a new monetary path is opening up for you and that's what you're being told. Just a lovely energy here, Gemini. With the Ten of Pentacles, it's, I mean, this can be very good in terms of new jobs, new business opportunity, new career path. It can be linked with moving home and relocating as well, but not limited to that. With the Ten of Pentacles, long-term stability and security the Ten of Pentacles is a major card of wealth, goal achievement, abundance, success, uh, money flowing in the sense that you don't have to be conservative anymore. It's completely opposite to that. It's a sense of the money is flowing again. Uh, that sense of newfound stability, security for you, your home, your family, your relationship on whatever level this is. It is a great money card, these energies. New abundance but it brings that sense of financial uh, flow, change, wealth, security, stability. Yeah, and I just feel that this is an energy here of there's an ending here. I think that you've dealt with an ending. This is all part of your change. Sometimes something has to end. 
in order for the new to be brought into you and that's what you're being told. It all happens for a reason. The sun, light after dark. The end is just the beginning. This is the energy here of that sense of you let go of something here, Gemini, to be reborn on a new path. The Ace of Pentacles is new financial opportunity. Very good in terms of money, career, finances. Just lovely energy. It's a beautiful reading. I appreciate it's not necessarily been easy, but this is a beautiful energy coming in to you. It's, it's such a lovely energy here, Gemini. Sometimes things have to end in order for the new to be brought in. It's exactly that energy and it's new success, abundance. But it's your time, it's just your time to receive. Love these energies. So I'm going to pull a few more cards here, Gemini. They, they might well link with the reading. They could be in addition to the reading in different life areas. Additional messages that you might just need to hear. So let's see what we have for you. I'm going to look at love, romance, relationships. But this is, don't forget, I mean, this is cherishing self. Don't forget who you are. Don't forget how far you've come. Don't forget how well you've dealt with the situation and your ability to manifest. This is the energy here. Choose your path because I'm feeling in this scenario here. It just feels like there's there's something coming in that's meant for you. So you have an opportunity to manifest this. And be devoted and committed. Say, yeah, somebody could offer you wise advice, but this is stay, stay the course, keep going. We have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we have, you may, okay, bottom of the deck, I did look, so I'm going to say it. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose in the events, to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. I mean, that is lovely. Manifesting miracles, your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. The messages are just following the same path. Let's pull a money card for you, Gemini. What do we have for Gemini, please? What do we have for Gemini? It's a lovely reading. What do we have for Gemini? Please, Angel Spirits Guides, message for Gemini. Networker. It may be time to create or reach out to your network of people who will help you. Consider a career in marketing, promoting, sales or any professional networking job. Make the most out of the resources you have to improve your finances. Yeah, perfect for the reading. You know, so bang on, there is something better. You're being told that. I feel that this is something didn't work out for you for whatever reason, but it wasn't, a, it wasn't meant for you. I'm going to pull you a message from Spirit. What do we have for Gemini, please? What do we have for Gemini? Thank you. Have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you? something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of your analytical mind and to give yourself and your soul permission to have fun. It balances out our energy when we allow ourselves that outlet, you know? All right. Final message for Gemini. 
Final message for Gemini. Thank you. We have purity. Always trust the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer to your question. Purity energy can actually be a, a, an energy of cleansing. It can actually be a card of letting go, letting go of the old, letting go of things that don't serve you, um, cleansing, detoxing, releasing, you know, and I'm feeling that kind of energy. We have music. Listen carefully for there may be a message in the music you hear. Music can lift your soul, rekindle memories and charm the fairies to your door. We have flourish. The lotus flower fairy tells you to learn from experience and to shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. Yeah, this is a time for to flourish. It's a lovely reading, Gemini. I appreciate it might not have been easy coming into this reading, but moving forward, just a beautiful energy here. You're really being told whatever isn't working out for you or whatever has ended wasn't meant for you. You know, because you need to be on a new path and that new path is opening up for you and that's what you're being told. Stay devoted to it because I feel you have the opportunity to choose a path that you move forward on now through manifestation, manifesting your choice, how you want to move forward, the, the better scenario, something better for you. And that's what I'm seeing for you. But just such a lovely abundant energy is moving forward. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful week. I will see you next time.